what is indian ocean dipole okay so if this is the if this is your indian ocean if this is your indian ocean theek hai this is your indian ocean what is a is positive iod will positive iod bring rainfall in india or will negative iod bring rainfall in india will positive iod bring rainfall in india or the negative iod positive iod right positive iod is good for india it brings rainfall in india the negative iod is bad for india and it brings drought like conditions theek hai when i say when i say positive iod this area and this area in positive iod which a or b which is warmer in positive iod warmer which is warmer yes so you know in positive iod this is a warm area this is a warm area and this is a cool area right so what happens is the monsoonal winds the monsoonal winds the monsoonal winds they are coming like this they are coming like this they are coming like this they acquire a moisture they acquire moisture from here they acquire moisture from here and they bring rainfall to india so this is your positive iod positive iod is good for india and in positive iod there is warmer there is warmer west indian ocean and there is cooler east indian ocean okay we will also make a chart like this theek okay? hai so iod it is west indian ocean this is east indian ocean this is positive this is negative west indian ocean is warm this is cool this is cool and this is warm now let's move on let's move on to the question what is the question the question is about the indian ocean dipole indian ocean dipole so the what is indian ocean dipole and how will it impact rainfall in the different parts of the world how will it affect rainfall in the different parts of the world so indian ocean see how do you introduce what kind of diagram do we draw so iod indian ocean dipole is called as indian nino you know el nino you know la nina so iod is called as indian nino and it affects the oscillation of the sea surface temperature so sea surface temperature oscillates and see the oscillation has been shown warmer cooler warmer cooler and the positive iod is warmer and this is cooler as compared to this in the negative this is cooler and this is warmer so iod is in in nino where there is oscillation in the sea surface temperature in which the western ocean becomes alternately warmer and then cooler than the eastern part of the ocean and then you can show this world map you can show this world map now coming on to the main demand main demand of the question how will it impact the world so positive iod positive iod will lead to more rainfall in india it will lead to more rainfall in india it will lead to droughts in the it will lead to droughts in the southeast asia theek hai why will it lead to droughts in the southeast asia let's understand this let's understand this so if this this is the area which is cool if this is the area which is cool okay if this is the area which is cool can australia have more rainfall can australia will have more rainfall when it is a cool area australia will have less rainfall australia will have less rainfall because the wind cannot take moisture from a cooler place your wind has taken moisture from the wetter region so this will be the drought region this will be the drought region and this will this will be warm or wet will this will be wet or dry african region the african region will it be wet or dry it will be wet so a positive iod a positive iod will be wetter for the african region wetter for the indian region and the dry region for your australia so it will be wet higher average than the east africa droughts in the 
Australia or the Southeast Asia and the rainfall in India. And the opposite will happen on the, the opposite will happen for the negative IOD. Now, please tell me when you look at this answer, when you look at this answer, what are the learnings from this answer? We need to give world examples. Okay, because it says different parts of world, we need to give world examples. Right. Map. Map is more important. And both the positive and negative are shown. Sure. Something else, diagram. Can you see, you could write a lot of information in this table. In this table format, can, can you write a lot of uh, your information? What is the lesson? If you have a lot of information, what will you do? You can draw a table, right? You can draw a table. If you have a lot of information, try to compress it and show it in a table. Now, very good observation. So yes, now you are learning. You have already started observing the answer writing in a good manner. It is actually impressive. And I was actually impressed by the fact that you know in positive IOD which is warmer and which is cooler. Many people, they don't know. That in positive IOD, what is warmer and what is cool? So if you have knowledge, that is very nice. All you need to do now is practice. Within your, uh, you know, at least one answer daily you practice and then you will see a lot of improvement. In the conclusion, can we conclude with climate change? That climate change impacts IOD. Climate change will impact the other atmospheric pressure system, atmospheric temperature system. So you can conclude with IOD. You can also conclude with, uh, you, you can also conclude saying that the IOD, El Nino, La Nina, they are atmospheric telecommunication. See, you understand telecommunication? If I, if I come in, I, I am communicating with you because of this telephonic technology, because of the ICT technology. So this, understand, imagine a pressure system change in Indian Ocean, the effect is on India, the effect is on Australia. Is it not atmospheric telecommunication? Can I say El Nino, La Nina, they are like atmospheric telecommunication? Can you say this? They are the atmospheric te telecommunication. So you can use such type of words also and that will give you your answer more weight. So either you write about climate change or reports or you I write about that the atmospheric telecommunication, which can lead to your bushfires in Australia. So you have also incorporated the current affairs knowledge. And you can also suggest a way forward that you can go for better forecasting system. So there is a way forward also. So you can use way forward. That's what it is written. That imagine IOD has led to forest fires in Australia. So significance has been written. You can write for agriculture, water resource augmentation, etc. There is no fixed way of introduction. There is no fixed way of conclusion.